and freaking out like, where did I put the baby? Good afternoon, everyone. I am just sitting in my car waiting for my monkey to get out of school again. I'm sipping on an iced coffee. Um, so I had um, another one of those little rolled omelet jobbies for breakfast this morning um, with some sausages. That was pretty good. Um, and right now I've I ran by Aldi's actually on my way over here. There's one just down the street from my daughter's school. And um, I got garlic stuffed almond, or almonds? Garlic stuffed all olives um, because I love olives. And um, I'm sitting here snacking on those in the car too. Um, tonight for dinner, I think I'm probably gonna do, I've got a spaghetti squash that has been sitting on my counter for couple of weeks um my folks actually went out of town and my mom had it and she's like I got this spaghetti squash you want it we're leaving I'm like, okay um she doesn't actually sound like that uh <laughs> but she did um she did give me the spaghetti squash so it's been sitting there for a while now and um so I'm gonna go ahead and I think cook that up tonight I think I'm gonna go ahead and steam it up spaghetti squash are real easy um you just cut them in half. I I scoop out the seeds first. Um, you don't have to. You can just stab them all over with a fork, throw them in your microwave, and cook them for like 10 minutes. Um, I think the seeds give the meat of the um, of the squash a weird taste. Could just be me. But I go ahead. I cut them in half. And I scoop, they're hard, they're like a pumpkin. So, but it, it, you know, I scoop all the seeds out first and then I put them face down in a little bit of water and um, steam them for, I think I stab them. Um, but then I steam them for um, like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think I usually do about 10 minutes. This one's kind of a smaller one. I might do it for like seven and then test it. Um, but then what I'll do is I'll scrape everything out and I will actually, rather than leave it long strings, cause I'm gonna try and feed it to the whole family. Um, rather than leave it long strings, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, cut it up so it's in small little pieces. So it's almost like rice a or something like that. But I'm gonna do, um, I've got some like mild Italian sausage and um, I don't have marinara, but I have like a can of crushed tomatoes, so I'll season that up. I'll make my own sauce. Um, it's pretty easy, so. And then you just mix everything together, throw it in the oven, and um, bake it for like 20, 30 minutes. You're, you're not cooking anything, but you should cook the sausage ahead of time. Um, squash is already cooked. You're just basically letting everything sort of marry and get happy together. Um, all cheesy and melty. Uh, I got some mozzarella and stuff. Uh, ugh. Parmesan. Par I couldn't think of the word. Parmesan cheese. Yes, I get the green canister. Mm. Um, but yeah, I got some Parmesan shaker stuff and I'll mix all that together and just make it all lovely. But I've wanted like pasta like not not pasta but like something Italian type flavor lately so I figure I'll I'll do that that'll that'll scratch that itch so you know the yeah the, the winter squashes are a little higher on the on the carb count I mean they're 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 botanically technically they're a fruit um we treat them like vegetables but botanically they're a fruit um like tomatoes and cucumbers and summer squash. They're all the fruit of this plant. They just happen to be fruit that aren't sugary. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to do that for for dinner tonight. I'm all man or a hot mess today. I gave up on like trying to wash my hair and ugh, I look horrible. Because it's been raining on and off. There's no point. <laughs> you can go outside for two seconds and it rains on you and ruins your hair again. So, um, I was just like, screw it. Um, but yeah, the baby, I keep, keep feeling so weird. Like I don't have the baby with me today because my husband's home. So, you know, baby was napping and I just left her with him. And as I sit here in the car, I keep thinking, I keep like looking in the rear view mirror 
and not seeing her little arch of toys and freaking out like, where did I put the baby? <laughs> oh yeah, she's with her dad. She's okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just keep feeling like I'm forgetting something, you know. Um, but yeah, so she was, she wasn't actually asleep. She was just in the crib, happy, playing with toys. So we, you know, just, just leave the baby alone if she's happy. Um, because she's the neediest of my kids, I'll tell you what. She wants you to hold her and, and pick her up and, hmm. My oldest didn't care. My oldest was like, whatever. She actually said to me one time I was dropping her off at, um, like a Sunday school thing. <laughs> she was in like preschool. So I, I took her potty before she went and she's in the stall, you know, a little leg swinging on the toilet. And she's like, okay, mommy, you can drop me off at class and go wait in the car. <laughs> I was like, is that what you think I do? It's like, I just drop you off and wait in my car. Yeah, I'm like, no, honey, I have my own thing that I go and do. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Anyway, but yeah, so I think I'm going to do the squash thing for dinner tonight. And uh, I'll show you that. I might, oh, I might videotape it. You never know. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea. It's been crazy the last few days and... I've got a lot of content to upload. I think I may just skip a couple videos that I've done. And I'm just like, ugh, I hate doing that though. But you get so far behind and it's like, why did, why would I even bother posting that anymore, really? Um, but yeah, so. Looks like the hurricane has passed on for the most part. And the sky's clear. Like, I'm seeing blue skies now. Um, but it's hitting the panhandle really hard right now. <sighs> I'm working insurance, so, you know. Hurricanes are one of those things that, that, eh, it's not good. Not good for anybody. Always worry about people, too. But they say it's a fast mover, so hopefully, you know, I think by Thursday night it's supposed to be heading off into the Atlantic, so. <sighs> Fingers crossed it stays moving fast and doesn't just stall out. I think it's going to be picked up by that front that's coming across now, but let's hope. People hanging around outside. Okay, they have something posted in the windows of the school, but... It's like small, it's like printer paper. So it's the eight and a half by 11 and there's something printed on it. Which would make sense if it was like the front door that it's put on or something like that. But it's, you know, the area where these windows are is not an area where you would expect people to be milling about. So how are they supposed to read the sign? I mean, unless it's a sign that says, get out of here. You shouldn't be milling about here. But it's like every couple of feet this poster is. And I'm like, what the heck's the poster for? Can't read it. The writing's too small. Weird. Weird. Like you all care. <laughs> you know, we don't care about this poster. Anyway. So, I'm going to let y'all go for at least a little bit. I might pop back on and show you my dinner. I'll probably make a video out of it. So we will talk to you later. All right. Bye.